idea comes from being able to serve in the capacity where you can make changes you know, in, in students' lives. And so I'm reminded of a few weeks ago when Mrs. Platt invited me into a lesson to talk uh, to her students about the growth mindset. She did something really interesting. She recorded the uh, sayings from each kid to determine when they were working on puzzles, she gave them puzzles to work on, and then like tandems and tan, tan, tan grams. Tan grams. And they were um, challenged with uh, mirroring an, the puzzle that was up on the board. And she went around and she recorded. Now they didn't know she was recording what they had to say. And she recorded some of their comments. And at the end of the lesson, she talked, she read to them some of the things that they said. And it was some of the things that we look at that we may say in everyday lives as parents when it comes to what we believe that our students can truly do. Now, one thing I try to think of is I try to think of the power of yet. Those of you who know me know that I try to push reset every day. Every day is a brand new day. And the power of yet gives us the opportunity to reach limitless possibilities when it comes to our students' performance. And so some of the things I, I look back at when I read the Growth Mindset book was what did I do with my own kids? Because that's where I start with. I'm always able to tell a story about my family or my kids because I don't want to you know, talk about anybody else because I know what happened in my house. Mm -hmm. And I think about my three kids. You know, what were the things I said to them as they were growing up? And my oldest daughter, you know, I said, oh, you know, she's, she's, come, she's coming into her own. She takes a little bit longer to do things. But I praised my middle daughter because she was so intelligent. And when she got to the University of Florida and ran into some difficulties, um, because I had operated under the fixed mindset, one of the first things she did was she shut down. It was very difficult for her to be in a place where her intelligence was matched with people around her who was just as intelligent, who, who got things a little bit more easier. Whereas my oldest daughter, who had always had to work a little bit harder, at things. It didn't just come easy for her. And there were things that I said to both of them that I look back on now. And although they're both successful, I, I'm trying to change it when it comes to my son. And so I use the power of yet with him about things that we, you know, the, the limitless possibilities that he has. And I'm careful not to talk about how intelligent he is or is not. I talk about how hard work makes the difference how staying the course, how being steady, how being um, diligent and working at, out his own problems. I remember when he was younger, because by then I had, I had kind of figured it out, the girls were kind of like a, a practice run. And then when I when I got to just have him at the house, he ended up being my uh, final product. And I would have him do uh, puzzles when he was little. I would have him do critical thinking things where he would have to think things out. We would have conversations with each other about things that I felt would help prepare him for being a man. And, and not just being any man, being an uncommon man that makes those decisions when he becomes an adult that he'll look back on things that we've had those conversations about. So now I say all those things because I want us to, to remember to foster a culture of learning and identify and work through the power of yet. And that's my growth mindset TED, TED Talk video for today.